Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This is 11 Pretty Class 12. So in this video, I'll teach you about this complete CG scene inside of After Effects by using Element 3D. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with taking a new composition. So just click here and let's start a new composition. Let's name it like element as I did always. And then 3D and resolution is 1920 by 1080p. Background color is black and then just press okay. And now you have to just right click new solid, name it like E3D and then just press okay. So this will be our element 3D layer. But before applying element 3D on this layer, we have to do a one most important step for this tutorial. Guys, to create this kind of output, we have to make our very own custom bump map. Yes, to make this bump map, I have some several assets with me. So let me show you that first. So this is our basic texture of our bump map, which will be created and this will be calculated as our diffuse map and then some cool cracks on it. And after that, this image is for environment. Okay, so now we have to take this diffuse map and just drag and drop it to new composition. Okay, so now we have this very own diffuse map composition. This is in quarter mode. Let's make it to full rays. And after that, we have to drag this crack on this layer composition and now and see. And from here, we have to change the blending mode from normal to multiply. So now if you notice, it's look like the main road is exactly being cracked. Now, if you notice the black color is very much, so we have to make some adjustment by using some color correction. So I'm going to effects, control panel, and then level. After that, we have to adjust our levels to get some cool effect. Now, as you can see, make sure the black part will be eliminate and the white part will be visible. After that, we have to take a right click new solid and name it like a noise and make this layer color a little bit ash and then let's press OK. And after that, we have to apply fractal noise here from transfer. Let's increase the scale value to let's take around 1500, which is pretty big number complexity let's take around like uh, what's kind like eight is good and then we have to invert this little bit and increase the brightness and increase the contrast so now you can see some cool black and white patches will be coming in decrease the brightness a little bit and uh, something like that yep it's fine now you have to find your very good patch to apply on that bump map okay so as i found this much patch area is good enough for this tutorial and after that we have to change some blending mode from here so from normal i'm making it to like darken so now what happened only the black area will be visible here after that we have to create our raindrops now to create a raindrop effect we have to take another new solid right click new solid and name it like a rain drops and then just simply press ok from here we have to apply particle system inside of after effects the cc and then particles and we have the cc particle system 2 just drag and drop into composition now if you move the timeline you can see this much particles will be coming from here so just from here go to this procedure and from radius let's make it to 150 by 150 we make it all like in same ratio and after that go to this physics decrease the velocity to zero and gravity also to zero and after that go to the particles from here particle type from line to let's make it like lens bubble so now it will create this kind of cool bubble effect and after that we have to increase the depth size and the maximum opacity let's make it low 100 and this is good enough now change the birth rate to let's take around like uh, five is good enough and let's increase the birth size a little bit and the depth size little down and this is fine and when you increase and it looks something like that so it's moving too much high so now what we'll do we'll take another called like ECHO echo and then drag and drop it to here now what happened this will increase the color value and from here let's number of echoes uh, take around three and we have to change the echo time so whenever we change the echo time it's completely looks something kind of this. Then let's change from normal to difference. So now what happened only the black and white area will be affected more by using this. So we have created our bump map successfully. Let's go to this element 3D layer and then we have to apply right click effects video copilot and then element. Just drag and drop this bump map to here and let's rename it to let's take around bump so that you can understand it very clearly. Let's take a bump. Then from here 50% to make it to fit to screen. Turn this off. No need to visible here. Just click here element 3D. Go to element 3D effect. From custom layers we just make this text and mask and there is texture map. So from here I'm taking this bump map here and go to this project panel again. I'm taking this environment image. Drag and drop. Turn this off. Go to element 3D 
and the second one should be like this environment one okay so this is done now go to the scene setup now we have to create our magic inside of element 3d okay so now what we will do take a new create from a card and let's increase it to a little bit higher so i'm making it this much is good enough and we have to apply our textures in it so from default i'm applying the diffuse map so i already have that map in installed here in urban dk shaders from physical go to this ground stone and there are so many options over there i am taking from a like ground stone and i have this one so double click here so you can see this much now if you notice the texture is very blurred because it's very not high resolution so from here click this panel mode go to the uv map and from here rip it should be like five by five so now if you notice it looks so clear and crisp now click this and from here there is see there are glossiness reflectivity normal bumps are all activated so just turn this off all and we need only the normal bumps so just click here click one and from drop down let's select this one when you click this you can see this much will be visible here and then we have to click this convert into to bump map so when you press the convert it then just press ok you can exactly look it's feel like this water surface is exactly visible on this ground because the bump map is eliminate the textures on from the diffuse map so now if you notice there are no raindrops are visible i tell you why just press ok so this is will apply here then go to this bump map and from here this raindrop layer just click and drag it to little back so now what happened you can exactly see the raindrops are here so then make it so here and now you can see when you go to the element 3d scene setup you can exactly see the raindrops are there see the raindrops are right now visible now we have to change some several settings here so for that we have to go to this normal bump let's decrease the bump value to let's take around 50 percent because there is too much bump is not good enough for this kind of tutorial okay so after that we have to change our environment because otherwise this output is completely looking really fake so from environment map this drop down i'm taking this image press ok so now see it looks coming really really amazing after that go to this diffuse map one if you increase the diffuse color you can exactly see them diffuse but in my case i'm increasing it to a little bit to see its night scene and when my camera will be from here it looks something like that so i hope you really understand until there that how what i want to show you from this video now if you want to change some environment you can do it so i'm changing it to a little bit brightness so that the scene will be a little more brighter so let's make it clear about 10 saturation a little bit and then just press ok now on that composition what i did i added some several assets here so let's add some from motion design pack one i added so many abstract shapes from here so i'm just taking any kind of abstract string so let's take around this one I place this string on this area and after that let's change the color value to let's take around some highlighted color which will be glow so double click in this effect so now this will go and I'll change the color a little bit so let's change the color from yellow to this kind of purple color and it's okay intensity should be high and after that go to this plain mode go to this one and from here take it to mirror surface so now you can exactly see this one under this water effect okay so you can add several more effect assets and all it's completely up to you and then just press ok now you have to set up our scene from here right click new camera and i'm taking it to let's say around 35 millimeter camera and then just press ok and zoom it to something this area and guys trust me when you apply this bump map here the your system will be start lagging so don't worry about that because the bump map is too much high so now you can see the bump map is there when you play the scene you can exactly feel the rain effect is right now visible in front of you you can exactly see how the rain effect will exactly look like but now guys without rain how the rain effect will be happening right so you have to create our rain also the rain effect is there but the without rain it's completely looking fake so if i play from here see the raining is looking amazing okay so after that let's make it to full race to a little bit like third one and then right click new solid and let's name it like rain and then just press ok now in this layer we have to create our rain effect from here i'm taking like cc particle world and we have this particle world just click drag and drop so now we can see the particle world is here i'm changing from third to quarter because i really don't need to be crash here producer option from here you can see there are so many options like radius x y z so let's make the radius to become higher and z axis as well and after that go to this physics and velocity to zero gravity is fine good enough let's make it to one two week because the particles will be then fall down very quickly and the floor should be like above the floor so that what happened the, all the particles will be capturing on above the floor 
So now when you play this, you can see the rain effect is looking amazing and we have to change some settings from here. So from particles, if you want to change it from line to any other, you can use. I prefer line is good enough. This change the color from here to a little bit blue kind of because the environment color is blue. So I'm making it to blue and this one is obviously a little bit purple kind of color so that it will effect feel like that it's already in the scene. Okay, so after that, we have to make it to full rays from quarter to full. Now see, this looks exactly something like that. Now there is no motion blur. So I'm here like motion blur. So I'm applying CC force motion blur, just drag and drop here and if you notice the rain effect is right now visible something like that so i'm increasing from 180 to let's take around like uh, 250 because i want there's so much motion blurs so that it will look really amazing from 50 to make it fit to screen so now it's completely done and after all we have to create our camera depth of field because as you all know in this kind of scene the camera depth of field is most important so just turn this on and you have to obviously play with your camera depth of field so guys this is it for today and when the, everything will be done it will completely look like this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple tutorial and in fact complete cgi tutorial for the very first time inside of element 3d on my channel vfx world and if you really like this video then don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe vfx world for more notification please press the bell button and also guys if you still not follow us on our social media handles facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below go and follow us on there i will see you in my next video with some amazing content tutorials and more keep watching keep rocking the effects world